space is big, like really big. Like think of the biggest thing that you can think of, and it's even bigger than that. So how do a scientist take all of this bigness and put it into something that you can comprehend? Well, that's where the light year comes in handy. And what's interesting is that with astronomy, you can actually do a little bit of time travel without having to hop into your DeLorean. This is your space pod for May 1st, 2015. The speed of light is based on extremely precise measurements of how fast a beam of light moves one meter through a vacuum. Turns out that's about 299,792 kilometers per second, or about 186,322 miles for our imperial unit friends. Light takes approximately 1,299,792,458 of a second to travel one meter. This is ridiculously fast. For example, if I were to run around the Earth at this speed, I could run around the Earth eight times in one second. And if I wanted to get to the moon, it would take me only about 1.3 seconds to traverse the 384,000 kilometers between the Earth and the moon. Light years are a unit that allows us to measure both distance and the approximate time it's taken light to travel from an object to us. We like to use this unit because the distances are vast between objects outside of our solar system, and that can make it very difficult to comprehend. For those of you curious to just how far light travels in a single year, it's about 9.46 trillion kilometers. That's going to be quite a few tanks of gas. For some context, Voyager 1 is currently the fastest of our probes headed out of the solar system, and at its current speed of 17 kilometers per second, it would take nearly 17,000 500 years to travel one light year. So the closest star to us, Proxima Centauri, is about 40 trillion kilometers away from Earth. But that's a lot of distance to wrap your head around. So we use light years as our measurement, which comes out to about 4.24 light years away. This way, when we talk about the furthest visible objects away that we can currently see with the Hubble Space Telescope, we tell you that they're in excess of 13 billion light years away, as opposed to the billions, trillions, quadrillions, and many more numbers of miles, followed by a ridiculous amount of zeros away. Now, we also can use the speed of light as a measure for time. For example, going back to Proxima Centauri, at 4.24 light years away, the light you see today has taken four years and just about three months to traverse the vast distance between our stellar neighbor. This means that the light that you're seeing today on May 1st, 2015, actually left Proxima Centauri sometime around January 2011. And the further you look out, the further back in time you see. The Orion Nebula is about 1,600 light years away from the Earth. So that means that the light you're seeing from it today left the Orion Nebula back around 400 AD. The mighty Andromeda Galaxy is 2.5 million light years away, meaning its light left 2.5 million years ago. So what about these distant objects we're seeing over 13 billion light years away? Well, that light has taken 13 billion years to reach us. It left those objects over 9 billion years before our own solar system began to form. So, can we apply this even to human scales? We can, actually. I've got my dad and my dogs, Missy and Asuki, out here on our lawn. They're about one meter away from me. So does that mean that I'm seeing them right now? Well, the answer to that is no, I'm not. I'm seeing them as they were one two hundred and ninety nine millionth of a second ago. Turns out, no matter where you look, anywhere in the universe, even with your own two eyes, you're looking back in time. Thanks for watching this space pod. I'm Jared Head. Don't forget to subscribe, 
comment on social media, and we do have a Patreon campaign. And if you donate to us, we can continue to bring you fascinating science at the speed of light. So thanks for watching, and keep exploring.